Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Tank Top. Wish you luck. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are, uh, are ready to watch a pretty informative video. So in today's little video, uh, we are going to break down the best, most efficient way to use a sword and why sword peeking is extremely necessary to beat cheaters. Um, I know the community has been asking for swords to get the fuck out the game for a while. Um, and I've been advocating against that. Uh, so I'm going to create the scenario that you want to create with your teammates. You only need one other teammate. Uh, I want to recreate the scenario so that you guys can see uh, the best way, best possible way to do it. Okay. So when you have an aim botter in the lobby, we're just going to have this. This guy is not a cheater, by the way. Please do not associate Tenshi with being an aim botter. He's not an aim botter. He's just helping me with the video. He's our bad guy for the video. Tenshi's going to come over here and Tenshi's going to stand right here. Tenshi's going to be our aim botter for the game. He's going to stand right here. Now, me and Sprintlock, we're going to be having our swords out, right? And the, the number one thing you want to do for an aim botter is you want to isolate them and make them force or make them uh, pay attention to two targets. If you can make them focus on two targets, you have a really good chance of beating them. And here's why. So Sprintlock... You're going to come over here and Sprintlock's going to stand right here with his sword out looking at the aim botter. This is where Sprint's going to be. I'm going to be over here. Now, what we're doing is we're pulling the aim bot's attention away, right? We're pulling the attention away. He can't focus on one of us. He has to focus on two of us. So when he starts to focus on Sprintlock, what I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately peek and head tap, pull my sword back out. When I do that, he'll look at me to try to name bot me through the wall. What is Sprintlock's job? Sprintlock's job is to peek shot him as he's looking at me. Now Sprintlock, you'll take your shot and then and then he'll hide back. Now he looks at Sprint, I shoot back, he looks back at me and it's an easy kill. Me and the people that I play with on a weekly basis have fucking mastered this. I, I don't think you guys understand just how how hard it's been for us to get recubs done on the weekends but this is a technique that has worked wonders for me now a lot of people will say well what happens if you cannot isolate the cheater right if you can't isolate this guy you can't get him to focus on one target what do you do well the only advice i could give you is to uh is to focus on his teammates because if the cheater's by himself odds are his teammates aren't that good right so if, let's say let's say this guy is focused on sprint lock right sprint lock is being looked at by the cheater i recognize that sprint lock is being focused on by the cheater what i'm gonna do is i'm immediately gonna go look for his teammates if we can't get this guy isolated i'm gonna put myself in a position where the aim botter who's right here right this aim botter who was looking at sprint doesn't have an angle on me and this allows me to isolate his teammates kill one of his teammates what's he gonna do he's gonna turn around and look for me as soon as he starts turning around to look for me that's when sprint takes a couple shots you want to push and pull with your teammates you need to push and pull it's a constant tug of war against these aim botters now this only applies for the one cheater if you're playing multiple cheaters this is when things get really really fishy uh i honestly don't have a strat to go against multiple cheaters typically what i do when i play against multiple cheaters is i try to make the game as chaotic as possible for them this requires a lot of coordination um, it requires very very good players on your team as well because for example if an aimbotter is staring at a hallway like this and me and two of my teammates are playing two of the teammates that i'm playing with are very good what we'll do is we'll do something called triple laning and it's essentially when we're gonna sacrifice one of our lives to kill one of the cheaters and then try to play the 2v1 against the next cheater that's like the best way to do it that, that we've had the highest success rate i still have like an 85 percent win loss ratio with my recubs even against all the cheaters so what we do is we do something called triple laning and triple laning requires not you to peek you don't come peek out you wait for the cheater to peek 
and when the cheater peaks everyone has their primary is kind of like sitting like this on a lane and when the cheater peaks everyone shoots at the same time what does this do this allows the cheater to guarantee one kill on one of us he'll snipe one of us but if we all hit our shots we'll instantly trade with him that opens up the window for a win because now it's a 2v2 and typically like i said before whoever the cheater is playing with isn't going to be very good um, if you need a cheater's help to go flawless and you're probably not very good so the other cheater now has the task of killing two very good players essentially by himself and that reopens the door for our sh initial strategy of pushing and pulling now this guy's orb is down here and this cheater is here by himself isolated so what do we do we go back to the top strategy he looks at me he looks at sprint he looks at sprint dead so this is one of the most effective strategies i've used personally in cheater against cheaters um or those are two of the most effective strategies i've used against cheaters my success rate is very high now granted you know i'm a very 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 advanced player it's not necessarily fair to assume the casuals can do shit, shit like this but um this is just a peer into like my head um another video that i wanted to kind of touch on or another video that i was going to make separately but i'll just touch on it here as well is the mountaintop um one of the number one things that people bitch and moan about right now is mountaintop and i agree don't get me wrong i agree wholeheartedly mountaintop is extremely difficult to use uh all right extremely difficult to survive against right mountaintop just kind of seems like the end all be all do it all weapon one of the things that i've noticed with mountaintop is to survive mountaintop what you have to do is space aerially correctly what does this mean this means mountaintop players like to sit on high perches right so if i was a mountaintop user i would want to be here if people were in this room rotating this way i would want to be here so that i could jump and shoot the mountaintop when they came out the doorway correct the way to counter that is to space yourself so that the mountaintop has to aim in the air for a direct shot and you want to distance yourself the number one way i do it as a warlock is if i know a mountaintop user is on a perch like this what i'll do as a warlock is i'll look for an open space something like this and i'll float and as the mountaintop user is coming out i'll just float and this allows me to almost always get at least three or four shots on them before they pull their mountaintop or before they switch. And by then they should be dead already. Um, another thing you can use that a lot of people don't use because a lot of people forget this thing exists is heat rises. You can literally sit in the air the entire time when a mountaintop user is coming out. There's nothing he can do here with a mountaintop. Mountaintops look for surfaces. They look for things they can shoot you against. For example, if I was here and a mountaintop user was above me, he wouldn't shoot at me, he would shoot at this floor. Same thing with a wall. If I was here and a mountaintop user came out, he would shoot at the wall. He wouldn't shoot at me, he would shoot at the wall behind me. So you want to avoid giving mountaintop users surface air. You want to avoid giving them objects to hit you with. And the best way to do this is to float. Hunters do it well, warlocks do it well, titans i don't feel bad for you because you've been using oem for how many fucking years and you guys that shit wasn't touched so titans good luck have fun playing against mountaintops um and yeah i hope i hope this video helps you guys i hope this video can teach you guys a few things a few little pointers that i use that that make my play exceptional against these these loadouts mountaintops give me a pro they give me a hard time but i have counters to them cheaters they give me a hard time but i also have counters to them so uh hopefully you've learned something hopefully you enjoyed this video um thank you guys so much for watching my shit and if i helped one person with this video then my fucking job was done i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching peace